afternoon. Question and answer program, please go ahead with your call. Hi, Chris and all the listeners. Good uh, Sabbath, everybody. I'm comparing Ezra 3 1 um, and 2, Ezra 3 1 and 2, with Daniel 8 13 and 14. Now, if you're teaching today, and just from what we've known, that year, exactly after the 70 years, Cyrus comes in and <clears throat> that, so they they go to build it. And in Ezra 3, because from Ezra 1, it says as soon as Cyrus gave him the proclamation for everybody that can do it, go do it. Seven months later, they build an altar. So that's the altar. And I guess my question is, when you compare it to Daniel 8, 13, and 14, it says after the 2300 evening morning, it, the sanctuary is claimed. And we know that 2300 morning are um, 2300 evening morning, so they're days, uh, you know, six years or six and a half, something like that. So are these two related? Ezra 3, 1 and 2 with Daniel 8, 13 and 14, because once they build the altar, they start sacrificing. And that year, even though it's just seven months later they build it, it's still... It's in the 71st year, that first year that Cyrus says, go build it, seven months later. I just want your thoughts. Thank you, Chris, and everybody that partakes in getting this Sunday fellowship together. Thank you, and God be with you all. Let's read from Ezra 3, beginning in verse 1. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem, then stood up Jeshua, the son of Jazadak, and his brethren, the priests, and Zerubbabel, the son of Shetiel, and his brethren, and builded the altar of the God of Israel to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. And you're right that this is taking place historically after um, the, the 70 years of of um, desolation, the 70 years in which Babylon was overcoming the king, or pointing to the kingdom of Satan, overcoming the kingdom of God during the Great Tribulation. And that 70 years identifies with the full 23-year Great Tribulation period. At the completion, historically, of those 70 years, Cyrus... Uh, also known as Darius, took the kingdom of Babylon and he was king of the Medes of the Persians. And, and then Cyrus issued a proclamation that all the Jews who were taken captive into Babylon could return to their land. And, and so Ezra begins, Ezra chapter 1, with, with the Jews coming out of Babylon. And, uh, and that would point to the end of the Great Tribulation period. Ezra and Nehemiah are very difficult books to, um, to fit into all the information we understand. You know, we, we have a great deal of information that's harmonizing together concerning the Great Tribulation, that judgment began at the house of God, and then God, after that judgment was complete, the 23 full years of, of tribulation, he turns his attention to the kingdom of Satan and, and he recompenses tribulation to them. We, we have really um, uh, large amounts of scripture. More and more scripture is harmonizing with that conclusion and, and we're learning a great deal about judgment day. Ezra and Nehemiah are difficult books because, well, especially Ezra, because it, again, is set at the end of the 70 years and, and this returning to the land of Judah to rebuild the temple. And uh, it, 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 of course, historically, these things had to happen. And, and some of what we find in that book is God... Um, just sort of painting a picture here and a picture there and continuing 
the historical narrative of the nation of Israel that must continue for hundreds of more years. But uh, as far as comparing Ezra 3 with Daniel 8, let's take a look at Daniel 8, 13 and 14. And it says, Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And, and the word cleansed uh, is a word that means um, justify. Or, or it, it's related to righteous, I believe. It, it, then shall the sanctuary be justified. And the 2300 evening mornings, we've understood, began on September 7th, 1994, and continued, or, or excuse me, began on May 21, 1988, and continued until September 7th, 1994. And, and uh, that was the time in 1994 that the Jubilee period began. So the 2300 evening mornings fit in perfectly in that six year and almost four month period from 1988 until September 7th, 1994. And I, th I think that's where it continues to remain that no, we don't, we don't take it out of, um, uh, out of that spot. Uh, there, there is no, uh, scripture that's directing us to do that. And, and that was the first part of the Great Tribulation period. And, and for that time, virtually no one was being saved in the world. God then officially ended the church age on September 7th, 1994, when he began to evangelize the earth a second time and pour out the Holy Spirit a second time. And the, the sanctuary became cleansed or justified because beginning on that day in September uh, 1994, September 7th, all who became saved were saved outside of the church. That God was bringing in his elect, exclusively his elect. He was no longer bringing in wheat and tares as he did to the earthly sanctuary or the earthly corporate church throughout the church age and 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 both wheat and tares grew together polluting really the sanctuary because you had unsaved unclean individuals within the church that was the outward representation of the kingdom of God on earth in order to cleanse the sanctuary to justify it make it righteous God began sending forth the latter rain, and from the, the point of the initial sending forth until it completed by the date of May 21, 2011, all brought in to the sanctuary were brought into the, the eternal sanctuary. It's, it's sort of similar to Jerusalem above and Jerusalem, which is now the corporate church, the eternal church and the corporate church. And, and, and this is why um, God says, when he, he says the, the, the sanctuary uh, will be cleansed, it's why, for instance, we read in Joel, <clears throat> in Joel, um, uh, or, or is it Zephaniah? In Zephaniah, I think, Habakkuk, before... Habakkuk, Zephaniah, chapter 3, it says, um, verse 15, Jehovah is in the midst of thee, thou shalt not see evil any more in that day. 
It shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not. And to Zion, Let not thine hands be slack. Jehovah thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that holdeth, and gather her, gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Um, well, that's not the, the verse I was looking for. Oh, well. Um, oh, uh, Zechariah. Zechariah 14, last verse, verse 21. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be hol holiness unto Jehovah of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them and see therein. And in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of Jehovah of hosts. No more Canaanite. A Canaanite would represent a sinner in his sins or her sins. And in the church, there were Canaanites, we could say, during the church age. Canaanites and true Jews were saved and unsaved. But once God began to work outside of the church, he no longer was bringing in all the called and only few chosen, but he was bringing in exclusively his elect, which served to cleanse the sanctuary. And uh, so, so Daniel 8 is referring to those 2300 evening mornings, which led to the point of the cleansing, because from that point on for the second part of the Great Tribulation, God would, would only deal with the elect and no longer um, with, with unsaved individuals coming into his eternal house.